वेलकम टू इक्लेक्टिक क्लासेस अ चैनल डेडिकेटेड टू इलेक्ट्रिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एंड ऑटोमेशन टॉपिक्स दिस वीडियो इज द सेकेंड लेसन इन द सीरीज ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल कम्युनिकेशन प्रोटोकॉल्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट विथ आर एस टू थ्री टू प्रोटोकॉल एंड वी विल कंप्लीट दिस प्रोटोकॉल इन आवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो If you have not subscribed to my channel then do subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you get notifications about my future videos. Now let's start with RS232. With the advancement of technology and invention of multiple electronic equipments it was realized that there is a need for communication between them for a properly organized effective workflow. In the year 1969 in United States of America the engineering department of EIA which is Electronic Industries Association defined a protocol for communication across electronic equipments they named it RS232 where RS stands for recommended standard this protocol defined serial binary data interchange it defined the electrical and mechanical details of the interface between data terminal equipment dte and data communication equipment dce here dte could be a pc or a printer and dce could be a modem the prefix rs was superseded by eia slash tia in 1988 nowadays rs232 is called eia232 and i'll be calling rs232 as rs232 or eia232 interchangeably so i'll be meaning the same protocol with both names in serial data communications the communication system might consist of first transmitter dte that is data terminal equipment which is the source and receiver of the data data here means a series of zero and one which is nothing but the information to be transmitted second transmitter dce data communication equipment it acts as a data converter such as a modem to convert the signal into a form suitable for the communication link for example analog signals for the telephone system if our communication link is telephone line third the communication link for example a telephone system fourth receiver dce data communication equipment such as a modem which converts the analog signal back to a form suitable for the receiving terminal fifth receiver dte data terminal equipment of the receiver side such as a printer which receives the digital pulses for decoding back into a series of characters in a nutshell if we say the transmitter side dte sends the data to the transmitter side dce which then transmits the received data to the receiver side dce finally receiver side dce sends the data to receiver side dte this is how communication happens in rs232 standard there have been many revisions in rs232 standard and in the latest version of the standard meaning of the acronym dce from data communication equipment is changed to data circuit terminating equipment the eia 232 standard consists of three major parts which define electrical signal characteristics mechanical char characteristics of the interface functional description of the interchange circuit let us go through them one by one first of all we will go through electrical signal characteristics the rs232 or eia232 standard defines 25 electrical connections the electrical connections are divided into four groups which are data lines control lines timing lines special secondary functions out of these we will concentrate on two types of lines only that is data lines and control lines because these two are essential for fundamental understanding of rs232 standard when we are talking about data transmission through rs232 standard data is transmitted in form of electrical signals and there must be some mechanism to control the flow of that data so basically there shall be electrical signals representing data and control informations 
when it is about data in the RS232 or EIA232 standard at the transmitter side, minus 5 volt to minus 25 volt is considered as logic 1. Plus 5 volt to plus 25 volt is considered as logic 0. Whereas plus 5 volt to minus 5 volt is considered as undefined logic label. At the receiver side, minus 3 volt to minus 25 volt is considered as logic 1. Plus 3 volt to plus 25 volt is considered as logic 0. Whereas plus 3 volt to minus 3 volt is considered as undefined logic label. Here it may be noted that transmitter requires a slightly higher voltage to overcome voltage drop along the line. The control or hand shaking lines have the same range of voltages as the transmission of logic 0 and logic 1. But the only difference from data lines is that they are of opposite polarity. This means that when it is about control in the RS232 or EIA232 standard at the transmitter side, minus 5 volt to minus 25 volt is considered as logic 0, plus 5 volt to plus 25 volt is considered as logic 1, whereas plus 5 volt to minus 5 volt is considered as undefined logic label. At the receiver side, minus 3 volt to minus 25 volt is considered as logic 0, plus 3 volt to plus 25 volt is considered as logic 1, whereas plus 3 volt to minus 3 volt is considered as undefined logic label. Now in this diagram, we can see how the polarity is just opposite in case of data lines and control lines for logic 0 and 1. With this, we end our distillation on RS232. Few things are still left about RS232, which we will cover in our next lesson. Till then, stay tuned. If you like my video, then do share it with your near and dear ones who could be benefited from this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. I always need your view about the session. So do provide your feedback in the comment section. If you need video on any particular topic, mention it in the comment section. I will try to make a video on that topic too. Thanks for watching the video. Bye for now. We'll post next video very soon.